that out of the Bible. Go to Revelation chapter 1. So now, so far, we read our history in the Bible and we also identifying our heritage. That's right. Right? Because this man is renowned around the world. He's famous around the world for bringing salvation to all races. Guess what? The black man's image, which is truly in the Bible, Christ, he promises salvation to the people that were afflicted and enslaved. You understand? So if I'm the white man, I cannot let that doctrine go into the world. Because then if salvation is for this people that we enslaved, then surely my ass is getting murdered when Christ come back. We're going to show you. Read this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it up. The revelation of Jesus Christ. The revealing of Jesus Christ. Get to the point. I want you to go to 14. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. You see that, my brother? You see that, my sister? His head and his hairs were white and woolly. You understand? Read as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Oh, very good. It's white as snow. You see that? That's his hair. That's biblical. That's what we're reading, right? And his eyes were what? As a flame of fire. And his eyes were red because he drunk wine in moderation. Like his eyes are somewhat red in there. You understand? Read. And his feet like unto fine brass. I'm looking down and I see his feet. I'm writing this stuff down in a book as he ordered me to, and I see his feet, and it's like the color of brass. B-R-A-S-S. -S. What color is that? Black or brown, right? Let's see how dark he was, read. As if they burned in the furnace. As if it burned in the furnace. You burn brass, literally, it turns black. You understand? So Christ is actually a black man, according to the Bible. Bring it out. You understand? So now, with that being said, Go to back to Deuteronomy 28, and now I want you to get 68, real quick. 68. Now it's crucial for us to identify our history in the Bible because it proves that we are the children of Israel and not black or African American or this and that. You understand? Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. He sent into Egypt again with ships. But they were delivered out of Egypt, the landmass. They walked out. So how can they have, take boats or ships back into Egypt? Let's understand what Egypt is. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it out. I am the Lord thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Of what? Bondage. What did God call Egypt? Bondage. Another word for bondage. Look at your flyer. The biggest word on your flight. What's that word? The biggest word on it. Slavery. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So now we understand. So now we understand what so now we understand what bondage or Egypt means. Bondage or slavery, right? Finish this up. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord said, I'm not gonna have you walking into slavery this time. Mom, I'll be there. My boss is coming. I'll be there. Downtown wait for the 64. Okay. Uh, hold on. Yeah, One second. Here's yeah, so a bus. All right, let me finish this up for you real quick before you go. Finish it up real quick. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he said, I'm going to send you into slavery again, but this time with ships. That's our history. So who are we according to God? We the children of Israel. So we somebody. All right, my sister, go ahead. All right, All right so now you. You said today is the Sabbath day, right? So what are you doing today? So what are you going to serve the Lord? You know you're an Israelite, you got some understanding. So what are you going to serve the Lord? What's going on with your life? What you doing with? Okay. So my okay, just speaking to people. Okay, that's fine. But what are you doing to serve the Lord right now on the Sabbath day? Are you keeping the Sabbath day holy? 
Let's think about that. Right, because to serve the Lord, it means to keep his commandments. Give me that in Deuteronomy. Hold that. Give me Deuteronomy 10. To serve, you know you're an Israelite. You came up, you say Yahweh, right? So we can say his name, we can have like, we can know that we are children of Israel, but we must keep his commandments. That's the end, that's the end duty. Read. Well, of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? For my brothers and sisters out here, you have to understand what your God requires of you. Read. What the Lord require of thee, but to fear the Lord thy God. You got to learn to fear God. You got to learn to understand that he's going to send judgment to you. You understand? What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.